the next question is there on your screen the next question is on machine input output uh, it is like doing some operations on the given set of numbers okay it's more or less like number series i would say so you have uh, 8 7 here and you have you have 8 7 here and you have 9 1 here using these two set of numbers you are arriving at this number 1 6 basically you have to find out what is the operation that they are doing to arrive at this number okay the first step i think is fairly easy compared to the other steps in this question see what have they done here you have 8 7 and here you have 9 1 okay now 8 difference between these two 9 minus 8 what is 9 minus 8 this is the first element here is 8 here it is 9 9 minus 1 that is basically they are doing the bigger minus the smaller number that is giving you 1 so that 1 is written here similarly here 7 minus 1 that is the second box in the first element minus the second box in the fourth element so 7 minus 1 that is equal to 6 basically they are doing the difference okay see 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 7 minus 1 that is equal to 6 similarly if you look at next two boxes it is nothing but 4 minus 1 you have to compare the first boxes and find their difference 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 and here you have four, uh, 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 that is equal to 2 so the answer is 3 2 next one here you have 3 6 so 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 is 5 and 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 that's how you are arriving at the first step you have just found out the difference between the numbers so that's how you get the first step now let's look at the next step in second step they have done multiplication second step is a multiplication of all the first digit and all the second digit yes that's very true so to arrive at the second step what they have done is see they have done what is the first uh, box in each of these given uh, in this step in all the uh, different boxes if you see here the first number is 1 here the first number is 3 here the first number is 5 so 1 into 3 into 5 that is equal to 15 they have taken into consideration the first numbers in each of the boxes and multiplied them together that is giving you 15 similarly if you look at the next uh, next set okay if you look at the second set of numbers that is 6 2 and 4 again 6 into 2 into 4 that is equal to 48 12 fours are 48 that is what is written here okay so if when you are multiplying all the first boxes in this step together you are getting this answer 15 when you are multiplying the numbers in the second boxes together you are getting this number 48 now step 3 so step step 2 i think till step 2 everybody got it correctly okay next here uh, uh, 1 5 and 4 8 you have so from this what have we done see 1 plus 5 by 2 we have found out the average okay of 1 plus 5 by 2 1 plus 5 by 2 is equal to 3 similarly 4 plus 8 by 2 that is equal to 6 so that's how we have got these two numbers next here 9 how do you get this 9 nothing very easy adding 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 so that is how you get the last one so this is the pattern that they have followed now they are giving you an input now let us find out the output for this given input so if this is the input following the same pattern what is the answer that we will get let's check so you have to club this 1 and 4 2 and 5 3 and 6 here what is given 1 4 and 8 2 so if you subtract 8 minus 1 you will get 7 similarly 4 minus 2 you will get 2 here again 4 minus 2 you will get 2 uh, 9 minus 3 6 again uh, 6 minus 2 4 7 minus 3 4 so that is the step 1 that you get then what will be step 2 step 2 will be the uh, product of the first three numbers correct the first box will be product of 7 into 2 into 4 so what is 7 into 2 into 4 that is equal to 56 so here it is going to be 56 what is going to come in the next box it's going to be 2 into 6 into 4 2 into 6 into 4 that is equal to uh, 48 so here it's going to be 48 now next third step this is step 2 this is step 2 now when you come to step 3 what did we do we found the average of these two numbers so what is the average of 5 and 6 it is nothing but 5.5 or 5 plus 6 divided by 
2 5 plus 6 by 2 that is equal to 5.5 similarly here average is nothing but 4 plus 8 by 2 or 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 now last step last step is what it is nothing but the sum of these two numbers uh, 6 plus 5.5 that is equal to 11.5 so these are the steps that is involved this is step 4 now let's look at the question that follow the first question find the addition of the numbers obtained in step 2 what is step 2 this is step 2 find the addition of numbers obtained in step 2 means what you should do 56 plus 48 okay so addition of numbers obtained in step 2 is nothing but 56 plus 48 104 option b see in such questions please remember this is your step one see in the question itself they would have mentioned this is the input this is step one two three four similarly here this is step one this is step two three and four just keep that in mind sometimes uh, you might get confused which is step one which is step two okay find the multiplication of the numbers obtained in step three and step four so what are the numbers that you get in step three and step four the numbers that we get in uh, step 3 and step 4 is 5.5, 6 and 11.5. So find out the product of the numbers obtained in step 3 and step 4. 5.5 into 6 into 11.5. So you have to find out this answer. What is the answer that you get for this one? Yeah, 379.5. Correct. Correct answer here is again option B. Next one, what is the answer for the next one? If digits of all numbers in step 2 are increased by 1 each, what is the difference between the sum of the numbers in step 1 and the sum of the numbers in step 2? See, if the digits of all the numbers in step 2 is increased by 1, what is step 2 here? Step 2 is this, correct? 56 and 48. Now, what have they given here? If the uh, digits of all the numbers in step 2 is increased by 1. Digits are increased by 1 means this 5 is becoming 6, this 6 is becoming 7. The digits are increasing by 1. Similarly, this 4 will become 5, this 8 will become 9. Okay, so that is what is happening when you are increasing the digits by 1. So if the digits of all the numbers in step 2 is increased by 1 each, what is the difference between the sum of numbers in step 1 and the sum of numbers in step 2? Now, what is the sum of numbers in step 1? It is nothing but 67 plus 59. So 67 plus 59 that is equal to 126. Now what is the sum of these three numbers? Uh, 72 plus 626 plus 44. 72 plus 26 plus 44 is equal to 142. So the sum of the numbers in step 1 is nothing but 72 plus 26 plus 44. The sum of the numbers in step 2 when you are increasing the digits by 1 is 126. Now in the question what are they asking? They are asking us to find the difference between the numbers in, that is the sum in the two steps. So that is nothing but 142 minus 126 that is equal to 16. Correct answer is option A. Next question, if all the decimal numbers are rounded off to their nearest greatest integers, how many numbers in all four steps is divisible by four? Okay, so for the fourth question, uh, what is given here if all the uh, decimal numbers are rounded off to their nearest numbers? So let us go back here, uh, if you are rounding off these decimals, See what are here, 5.5, 5.5 how do you take, nearest decimal you can take it as 6, 11.5 you take it as 12. Now which are the numbers in these steps which are divisible by 4, see you have the numbers which are divisible by 4, here are 72, 44, 56, 48 and then you have 12. So these are the numbers which are divisible by 4 in the various given steps. So how many such numbers are there, 5 such numbers are there. So the correct answer for uh, the, this question is 5. Okay. What is the difference between the largest and the second smallest number in any step? So you have to find out the difference between the largest and the second smallest. Remember that when you are see another important thing is attention to detail is very very important in these questions. Here they have mentioned second smallest. Don't miss out on the second. Okay, because options are in such a way that you can get if you just take it as smallest you will get a different answer and there is one answer which will suit that option also. So, I mean there is one option which will suit that as well. So, be very careful when you read the question. So, which is the largest number here? 
uh, largest number here is 72 of all these numbers and which is the second smallest number it is 6 largest number is 72 second smallest number is 6 so 72 minus 6 that is equal to 66 is the answer that you are looking at 72 minus 6 that is equal to 66 see in a hurry lot of you what can you do you will do uh, the difference between the largest and the smallest number what is the smallest number here it is 5.5 so when you do 72 minus 5.5 you will get 66.5 which is there in the options right don't do that that is a mistake that we are doing yeah when you are doing it in a hurry when you are reading the question in a hurry you can try, you can make that mistake so don't do that here the correct answer is option c 66 because they have asked us the difference between the largest and the second smallest number